hey guys welcome back in this python tutorial we are going to understand about the multi-level inheritance in python so previously we understood about the multiple inheritance let's understand about the multi-level inheritance as well quickly so i'll simply copy the same code so let me copy this and create a new file so new python file and i'll name it as multi just put everything here okay so now multiple inheritance was about the class can inherit attributes and methods from more than one class. Now multi-level inheritance, so we'll say multi-level inheritance. What this will do is in multi-level level inheritance, say for example, this is my base class, move character, then jump character can inherit move character. Okay, so this is one level of inheritance. So we can simply say, yeah, jump character can inherit all the attributes and properties and methods of the move character, right? And then Pokemon can inherit move cat or jump character, right? So this is basically different level, okay? So this jump character is inheriting move character and then Pokemon is inheriting the jump character. So this is basically first level right so this is the base class then first level inheritance and the second level inheritance okay so that's what basically multi-level inheritance means so if we run this particular code it will run exactly fine okay so now if you see in the multi-level inheritance the method resolution order so what happens here is so first it will find or try to find the existence of the method or attribute in the local or the derived class right so it will find and it has printed pokemon moving then it moves to the next level so which is basically the jump character right because this pokemon is inheriting the jump character class so it has searched for the jump character then this has moved to the move character and then finally object right so this is what multi-level inheritance is so let me explain this on the whiteboard let me open the whiteboard here so now say for example there is a base class right so class a there is a derived class b right which is basically intermediary class and then there is a class C, okay, which is subclass. So this C class can inherit the properties and methods of the B class, and then B can inherit the properties and attributes of the A class. So you can understand it as a relationship between the child, father, and grandfather, right? So the child class inherits the properties of the parents or father, and then the parent or the, the your parents basically they inherit the properties of your grandparents right and you get anyways all the properties from both of those so you get all the inheritance for free when you inherit from your parent class right so that's what it has is happening here so now when we say pokemon pokemon is inheriting from this jump character so consider this jump character as the parent class so pokemon's parent class and then jump characters inheriting from the move character which is basically the grandparent of pokemon right so grandparent of pokemon pokemon the move character okay so this is how the multi-level inheritance works and if we see this mro basically so method resolution order okay so what order it will take is it will first look into the child class so it has looked into the child class and then it moved up one level so basically the jump character okay and then it has moved to move character and then finally the class object because in python everything is an object right so this is what basically the multi-level inheritance is in python very quickly and in uh, the simple uh, terms basically uh, if you want to get into more details of the inheritance feel free to go through the documentation python official documentation you will get a lot of information around inheritance but in terms of python programming and automation as a beginner 
you should be fine with the single inheritance that I have covered, multiple inheritance that I have covered in the previous tutorial and multi-level inheritance. So when we have multi-level inheritance, we can inherit from the base class to the derived class and then again child class can inherit the derived class or the intermediary class. Okay, so that's all for this particular tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.